Gonna have to get a 250 volt charge controller. This thing just puts out way too much juice for uh, this charge controller. I have the curve step way up in the amperage. Goes from zero to like 30 amps uh, between 51 and 57 volts. Hey YouTubers, Billy here. I want to talk about stator builds today and how um, I get them put together and stuff, what I do. Now here I'm, I have a cutout. In actuality this is going to become a mold but I'm going to cut it out in this whiteboard here so it doesn't have any drill holes in that. Um, but <clears throat> I want to point out some things that I did to this stator. You see that there? I laid that heat sink across so that uh, when this heats up over time this wire starts to erode. When it's encapsulated in the epoxy it doesn't matter. That heat will affect that that little thin wire there from these coils. So when your coils warm up over time it's going to cause it to burn. Okay? That's one thing I want to point it out. And then you notice I got these longer longer wires here okay and that's because they've got to reach around and come to these open phases I'm going to have like right here here's how I did it these are all open phases so this is set in star but one more uh, wire it'll put it into Delta if you want to put it into Delta you can but <clears throat> here's it here's it here in star I got some stainless steel locking nuts uh, the nylon locking nuts so it'll keep these from moving these little nuts here and then I uh, want to point out <clears throat> this is for uh, Eric <laughs> you see it red white and blue people give a thumbs up on that alright <laughs> even though I paint the staters you know but I, I think I, what I'm gonna do this time is leave it unpainted there's, I found an epoxy that's a, a UV rated epoxy and that's what I'm going to use on it and also it's uh, high tempered too so just like the wire this wire is like 200 degrees that epoxy is also okay and uh, let's see uh, there'll be a video where I show how I'm going to wire this all up and then what I do to ground the wire ends I use a, this little Dremel here with that stone and that's better than burning the wire I think and it, it cleans it up pretty damn good and uh, all I did was tape them but I've got still I still gotta get them all connected correctly and that's so that they're sitting nice in this and then here I got uh, a magnet this is an epoxy uh, N42 and it's got a countersink on one side okay now this is magnetic wire so it's probably gonna grab it it didn't but I, I want to point out some I'm I'm letting you know that when you build one or what I do is oh, it's gonna sit there a little lops there you go um, I put it right to the edge on the inside of that uh, the, the coil and and that's because of the flux field that comes off the end of that magnet and what it's doing that flux field is trying to find the south okay since this is a north magnet it's trying to find the south end of it so there's a big flux field that goes around it and so I want to saturate the this thick part right here let alone the magnet is going by and it's hitting this this end right here but it's going by and running past the middle but I want that flux field so it's not wasted and that magnet to sit in the center okay just to show you it, that's how, I, that's how I'm going to do 
the staters because that's what Hugh Pickett recommends, that's what uh, Chris Olson recommends, and these guys are the master. Along with my buddy Orland too, he's a master, and I miss the hell out of him. He's a good friend of mine. Um, I also want to show you, right here I'm doing the magnet pie. Get, if I can get a, get the glare out here, let me get to the other side here. And just as similar, similar that I did this, I, I, I do it for this because what I'm going to do is uh, I have to get everything all, uh, you know, put on this pie chart. The, the, where the placement of the hole for the magnets and the, how much I want on out to the edge here of the magnet. Um, but otherwise, for the, for the, uh, the stator coil, I'm going to, you know, this one's the magnet like this, this uh, hub here is the magnet. The stator coil one is going to be uh, on the other side of this cardboard. It's my car cardboard CAD board. I got this idea from uh, Chris Olson, uh, the master. And uh, here uh, he, he, he did it the same way, but it's to get the coils to come in because I'm going to take and, and uh, mash the coils inward so it fits it a little bit closer in towards the center of the pie. Okay, so that's it. That's all I wanted to show you right now. And also, please uh, uh, subscribe to my new channel uh, if you haven't already.